Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back today. And today we're doing Edward Elric from Full Metal Alchemist, which I don't know if anybody even calls him that, but just Edward. Ooh, is that a crate? Hold on, don't mind if I do, guys. Mmm, uh, yes. Mm, you can always have a extra crate or two. <laughs> Anyways, I was saying. We're doing Edward Eric today, so I have, as you can see, Metal and Magma. I don't know. If, I don't know. I, I I don't remember. It's been like five years since I watched the anime, but I know he uses Metal a lot. So it's not Gold Metal, but I just wanted the color. <laughs> Element is the still the same, so we should be good, right, guys? Just looks a little bit, you know, brighter, but you know. I know it doesn't match, but it should be fine. And I have magma right now to back up my gold, right? Because if I do melting with magma, it will make the gold do more damage, right? So that's what I have melting lava for. Also to create more space for myself with like the explosion and stuff. So, And you can see that I have a lot of spells right now in magic, right? This is a lot. One for each situation including the postar magic and then yeah mag is mostly just to create like the magma floor so i can do that more damage with gold right and then well i'm a full mage right now so yeah obviously i'm trying to you know, do all the magic stuff and only spam abilities basically and my stats for inventory is I decked it out this time because I'm tired of getting my ass beat. So this time I'm pretty decked out. Uh, it's like a get last cannon build. So almost 100 power and 175 defense. I had to drink a little bit because I'm recording this like after shame. So feeling a little bit dry. Maybe a little bit out of breath. Maybe I don't know. Some attack speed and a lot of attack size too, so um, it's pretty good. Could probably use the Karina set that gives attack speed, I think, right? Because I don't think I need attack size. Well, it would help, right? It would make the it makes it a little bit bigger. Actually, I haven't tested out yet, guys. So I wanna see what's the difference if I take off the armor, right? The magic side doesn't change. Like, there's no visual difference, right? Like, there's no visual difference, at least. So, I am not sure how this works, guys. Because it's supposed to work, right? It says, changes the size of your attack and the area effect. So, I assume they explode more. If it doesn't, like, change the projectile size, right? So, if we do the ma- Yeah, I mean, it looks about the same, literally. So, um, I feel like nothing has changed. But we should build the Shoy Fort Talos, which is Argos right now. I forgot where I was going. The shadow's hiding it. Oh, I see it. Almost ran into the fort. We don't want to get shot right now. Okay, anyways. I already did the king, guys, so I kind of pre recorded it. I'll leave it at like the end of the video. <laughs> and I kind of ran into. Old friends in Roblox, they almost, um, it was interesting, let's just say, um, after I killed the king and stuff, so, or I tried to kill the king, at least, um, but with, uh, decked out endgame build, I guess this is technically endgame build, right, because it's all boss items and boss builds, right, like, I know you guys, like, see, I have a lot of accessories. <laughs> And like no amulet, so that's a little bit odd, right? Because I actually don't have it. <laughs> I'm poor, I know guys. Like I mean I could get an amulet to make myself stronger. <laughs> but I'm 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 just broke, okay? Like I'm just broke. So um and I'm too oh yeah, you guys saw my damage back then. But that's the damage normally I do without the magma effect, so yeah, I kinda updated my move list. So, I have some shape magic now for my blast attack and my explosion attack, right guys? So, that means damage is gonna be different. And the shape I chose is mainly for damage, 
So, yeah, we're gonna try to do more damage. Anyways, uh, with my Q, I should hit 330, or at least 330, without charge, right? See? 330 without charge, and then explosion magic is 177, which isn't too bad. It was like 140 before without the uh, shape magic, right? So, I'll take it, you know, it's like an improvement. And, yeah, if you guys want to see the great sword, See, that's a sore. Oh, I like that. That's cool. Like, explosive sore? Hell yeah. Anytime. And without the mode, the mode usually gives like 40 damage each to like everything besides explosion. Yeah. It makes explosion. Actually, let's try the mode on the explosion. Uh huh. Okay, well, yeah, it's basically 40 damage. <laughs> it gave everything 40 damage, basically. Um. I think it will make my Q, right, which is my blast attack, right? Oh, it's... hello? It wasn't casting it, but it would basically do 400? No, almost 400 damage, okay. And then we're gonna use snare magic, which is like auto detect. Uh, I thought that would detect them, but no man. But hey, I don't know, I, I'm not exactly sure how it works. But it boosted it by like 70 damage. Usually it hits 280. Like I can show you guys right now. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure how it works. You have to counter or wait for them to attack you. Like I hold it down. I'm not sure guys. By the way, I, I hold that button down back there so I did more damage. I'm not sure, like it should detect the... It should detect behind me, right? Or not. Um, let me test it out real quick. I'm not very familiar with these magic. So I guess it's like in front of you. Or not. Or do I wait for them to attack? No. It has to be pointed towards them, I think. So let's see. If I aim towards them? Yup. Yeah. So I guess like a general direction for detection, right? And then you teleport to them. Yeah, I don't know guys. I don't use that magic much, so. I don't know much about it. And then we have Pulsar Magic, which is... It does 132, but when it hits, it does like 260, right? On impact. So, I mean, it's not bad. It pulses three times, so in total it's like a 700 damage. But we, if we activate mode, and we don't charge it. Okay, it gave the pulse like 30 more damage. But I do want to see the impact damage, so... I mean, it boosts a lot, like, right? The metal mode, so... It's pretty crazy, I guess. Yeah, and I mean, there's not much to say about beam while we wait for them to respawn. A beam is just a lightning. <laughs> it's like a lightning ball and, you know, it, it's immediate. It's for like emergency, basically. Anyways, let's try this real quick. Okay, so... It boosted like 40 damage as yeah, basically 40 damage in general boost for all my magic with like a hundred power because I have a hundred and I have a hundred and one power right now in my inventory apparently. I thought it was a 102, but all right, works the same. Doesn't really matter. All right, gonna remove them from existence. <laughs> gonna get out of here. Anyways, um, let's move to the boss fight, right? Which is gonna be fights from like my yesterday's build without shape magic and stuff. So yeah, so I recorded this after waking up and oh, it's like oh yeah, I forgot to record shape magic. So that's a little bit odd. Yeah. Um, we're gonna use this on the boss. So I think he blocked it, but. If we melt him again, right? Actually, let's do this. Th use the AOE magma, and then throw in the projectile. He's not melted yet, because he's not standing on it. Anyways, I think he... Oh, he went immunity, because we did too much damage. Anyways. Oh, I could have blocked. I mean, I technically, I don't need to block, but it's safer. 
Man, he's blocking a lot. I can't show you guys the melt damage, unfortunately, but it should be 300 something. So if we do the math, it should be 315 ish. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I charged that one, guys. The 339, it was a charge attack. That's why it was like so large. And if you guys want to see Pulsar, which is the lost magic, I can show you guys real quick with uh, Edward. See? Oh wait, it didn't hit. He went immunity, so it didn't hit. We could try again. I'll charge it up fully. Yeah, and there we go. It should have like done a little bit more, like about 500-ish. I feel like I could do more with that, but I'm not sure. Like I'm still messing around with my pulsar spell, right? With like how his damage work and stuff. So not exactly sure how I want it to be, but. For now, I left it at 150 and one pulse. Like it could be really fast, but I'll work on it like for a day or, or something, and then we'll figure it out. But yeah, um, that's basically Argos. Let's move to King. All right, I'm gonna try to fight the King a little bit. Oh my God! Oh man, I missed that. Not gonna use Pulsar, cause that, maybe that would be too laggy, who knows. Oh no. I don't even know how to use Pulsar properly, which I should have learned how to use, but... Pretty comfortable right now. As long as we don't get hit by the barrage. Yeah, they even have to use ma magma magic there. Easy peasy. Alright. I thought it would be harder than that, but oh man. Guess what like the best build or endgame build ish? We won't really struggle too hard. Oh. I think I hit someone, I'm not sure who I hit. Are they fighting? I can't tell. Nah, I'll try if I shouldn't interrupt, right? Who knows? Oh no, <laughs> I should probably get out of here before it lags too much. Oh. <laughs> I don't know frame, bro. Uh. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, they were doing fine, so I'll leave them alone. 